Of course, the Bible is the recipe, <laughs> it's the map of real life. And real life is a good life from the biblical perspective. It doesn't mean that the good life is based on feeling good. It doesn't mean that a good life is based on happiness in the sense of feeling good. But it means take into account that we are created in the image of God. That gives us a unique dignity and value. That's where it all starts. That where, that's where the good life really starts. Secondly, we are offered forgiveness for sins in Christ. So we actually are free in Him. So created in the image of God and we can dwell in the love of Christ. And thirdly, we are called to imitate the love of Christ in our life. And if only we could take in what it means, this indwelling in Christ. So often we feel disappointed, we have brokenness in our lives, broken relationships, we have health issues, we have crisis, we have conflicts, we have real troublesome days. What do we feel like in, the, in those situations? Do we feel good? Do we anchor the good life in our feelings? No. But on those days, just as when we are on the mountaintop, so to speak, we are in Christ, the indwelling in Christ. And that is the proper good life for everyone. So when we are called as salt and light in this world of ours, as Christ's disciples, we are in the midst of stories telling us that a good life is supposed to be a happy life based on feeling good. And we are not immune. But thank God, there is a better story for Christians when we get influenced by the false teaching of these stories and for non-Christians, the holistic biblical worldview saying created in the image of God, loved by Christ and received forgiveness in him and called to imitate him in our life then a good life is a proper good life also when it hurts, also when I really have hard times because Christ is there. And one day we will actually both be good and feel good because there won't be anything disturbing our feelings. But a good life here and now is not linked to feeling good. It's a happy life taking into consideration we should be good but we dwell in Christ.